Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to embed your form, your Titan form, with the uh, Salesforce Canvas. Alright, so let's uh, let's start. So what we have here on the form is a simple get by the account ID. We're going to pull up some of the account information and then we will be able to push multiple contacts to that account. Alright, so let's uh, head to Salesforce and set up our connected app. So we'll head to our setup. We'll go to App Manager. And we're going to create a new connected app. And let's give it a name. So Titan Canvas. And API name. Let's give it an email. So CDO at And that's that for the basic information. And our next thing is to enable all settings. And what we'll need to do is give the form type and callback URL and give it whatever access you like. So in my instance, let's give it, let's give it everything. You can modify it however you like. And let's go get the canvas URL from Titan. So I'm going to head over here to my limits. As of canvas, let's just give it a sample name. Grab my URL. So it always you will be your subdomain and the SF canvas callback. So we'll grab that. We'll put that callback over here. Then we'll scroll all the way down and tick the canvas. Again, canvas up URL, sign, po uh, sign request post. In my instance, I'm just going to use it in a visual force page. And I'll put it over here. And the only thing we need to do is hit save and continue. It takes two to 10 minutes. So hopefully it will happen fast. All right. So we have the consumer secret right there we need it for the app and we need the api name which is titan canvas so we'll head back to our sf canvas we'll grab it here um our our connected app consumer secret we'll put here and our api name we'll put over there hit save we're all done and notice this one right here you salesforce session which means that whatever user will open the canvas if you select this all the create update delete operations will run on that user and we'll use that user's permissions on that object so we'll, we'll take that hit apply and we'll save it <coughs> um, after we created the app one thing we want to do is head over to let's search connected apps And we'll click Manage Connected Apps. And I'll go to my Titan Canvas app. And I'll hit Edit Policies. And I'll say Admin Approved Users are Pre-Authorized. And I'll hit OK and save this. And then I'll pre-approve some profiles. So I'll prove system administrator and I'll prove the gold partner user since it's my community profile so I'll show you this on the community as well all right so we're all done with the app only thing we have left to do is configure some things on Titan and then we're off to go so technically you can use it as it is um, I just want to put this form in embed mode so I'm going to the form styles size and position embed mode and my next thing is I'll go again to limits and I'll go to post message hit configure and I'll say post form size changes because I want the form size to change as it changes since it's dynamic size since we have a repeated section and I'll allow all domains for now usually you would put in just your Salesforce domain 
and I'll hit apply and save. All right, that's great. Um, my next thing I would do is just to make it easy because now we have account ID is a hidden and we want to pass in the account ID to the um, to that hidden so the get will run and usually you will do FLD31 in my instance I'll go back and I'll do URL params and I'll say ACC ID equals ACC ID so I can pass in I can pass it in just like so and hit apply and save and I will publish it all right so what we're going to do here is Salesforce and we're going to do auto sizing and we're going to select our canvas and our Salesforce object will be account and the field will be account ID all right so we have everything we need over here we're just going to grab that page and back to Salesforce and go to the visual force pages And I'll create a new one. We'll call this Titan Canvas Visual Force. And I'll allow it in Lightning. And I'm just going to paste in whatever um, form Titan gave me. And I'll hit save. Next thing I need to do is uh, give some permissions. So I'll go back to uh, Visual Force pages. So you can do it from the profile. You can do it from um, other places as well. I'm just going to do it from here since it's the fastest. And I'll give the uh, gold partner user and the clone, which is my community profile. All right, we're technically done. The only thing we have to do is just to show you how this works. So I'm going to head over to my account. wrong place head over to my account and what I will do I'll go into a, an account and I'll edit the page so this can be used in, in the classic as well so just throw it in the regular classic layout in this instance I'll show it to you on lightning and I'll grab the visual force go to the details page and that's just throw it up top all right and I'll select my page so Titan canvas visual force and let's give it heights and pixels 500 and I'll hit save <coughs> all right let's go to an account Hide back. Obviously, I need to fix the width over here and just. All right, wonderful. So we see our canvas up, looks very nice, and we can see automatically we got the account name over here. All right, let's take a look at the uh, contact. So I'll create a contact first. First. And we'll put in some email, some email. To canvas ft.com. And we can add another one. You can see our form is growing. And we'll do second. All right, and we'll hit submit. Our form is being submitted, thank you very much. And if I will refresh the page and go to the related, I'll see my two contacts. Now, one thing to note about this, if I'll head to the first first, I'll see that the, uh, I'll go to the details. You'll see that the contact owner is Brave Donkey and it was also created by Brave Donkey. So now let's head over to our um, community and I'll show you how it's done over there and what's special about use Salesforce session 
So we're gonna go to uh, all communities. Just gonna grab the URL from there. All right, and open Cognito. All right, waiting for it to load. All right, great. Let's put my username over there. I'll log in. And one thing we forgot is to add the page to the community. So let's go to the builder. And we'll go to the account detail page. Internet is being very slow today. And we're going to add a component. Again, we'll do visual force. And we will throw it, let's say, up top. Okay, we'll select again Titan Canvas Salesforce. And we'll say height and pixels. Let's give it 800 this time. All right, we're all good. We're set to go. Let's publish this thing and head back to our community so I'll refresh the community page this is my beautiful community wild donkeys and once it's loaded I'll show you how it works so I'll go to an account let's say um, let's select this one and waiting for canvas to load all right the canvas is loaded and i have the account name again dynamically mapped from the account and let's put in some contact information so we'll do again first community and we'll do first community first community at canvastitan.com and we'll add another one we'll do second com and put in an email and we'll submit all right so everything is done now let me show you the con the contacts that were created so i'll refresh the page or better, I will just go to the admin part. We'll stay here and then we'll go to the admin. All right, so let's see the contact. So I have first and second, the community ones, and I'll log in. I'll go into that to that contact. So you can see here that it was created by Jack Rogers, which is my community user, and this is why um, it's really cool to use to use Salesforce session because you get the use Salesforce session in the canvas because you get whatever action is happening on that canvas will happen from that logged in user. So if it's a community or a community partner, a community customer, it will, um, it will communicate to Salesforce through there. Uh, one thing to note is, uh, however great that is, you will need to, uh, to figure out the permissions and all that stuff because it just uses that um, user's permissions. And this is how it's done.